This video is the third in the series and is about Robert Stewart, the son of Alexander Stewart. Born in 1739, he became the first Marcus of Londonderry in 1816. He married Sarah Frances Seymour Conway in 1766 and they had two children. His wife died in 1770 and he remarried on the 7th of June 1775 Francis Pratt and they had 11 more children. He was elected to the Irish House of Commons in Dublin in 1776 and in the 1783 general election lost his seat. Due to the influence of his second wife's father, he was made an Irish peer. Created Baron Londonderry in 1789, he entered the House of Lords in Dublin. His son, also called Robert, was elected to the Irish House of Commons. In 1798, he was made an Earl and his son Robert took the courtesy title Lord Castlereagh. During the Napoleonic Wars, he had floodgates built at the head of Strangford Loch. The reclaimed land was used to grow food for the troops fighting in Portugal and Spain. The area around the floodgates was a popular resort for families. Lord Castlereagh encouraged his father to build a new house on the site of the house built by his grandfather Alexander Stewart. Castlereagh sent a London architect, George Stance, to draw plans for a new west wing which was to adjoin the original house. In 1805 work was completed with a portico entrance to the west wing. The local Church of Ireland congregation met in the chapel built in the 1690s by the Colva family beside the derelict Prairie Church in Court Street, Utenards. A new church building was completed in 1817 in Church Street. Several additions were added and a north aisle completed in 1866. The Londonderry family made significant contributions to these projects. Robert Stewart was made Viscount Londonderry and on the 13th of January 1816 he was created the first Marcus of Londonderry. This was in recognition of the achievements of his son, Lord Castlereagh who was the British Foreign Secretary at the time. Castlereagh could not receive the award himself during his father's lifetime. The first Marcus died on the 6th of April 1821 at Mount Stewart and was buried in the family vault in the Prairie Church in Newton Ards.